Hi guys, Robbie Linus here. Today I wanted to talk about temperature scale conversions. It's kind of like the beginning or final step on some questions when you get into specific heat or water equivalent and heat mixtures. They might ask you to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit or find the final answer in Kelvin. So I just want to review these temperature scale equations quickly. So the first one we have is when you got a Fahrenheit value and you want it to convert it to Celsius. You have a Celsius value you want to convert it to Fahrenheit. Then you have Kelvin, so they'll give you Celsius value and you want to convert it to Kelvin. And then Rankin, you have a Fahrenheit value and you want to convert it to Rankin. So the temperature scale formula variables, the C is for Celsius, F is for Fahrenheit, K is for Kelvin, and R is for Rankin. One thing, as mentioned previously, when they ask you to convert to absolute temperature, you just use the Kelvin equation and it's degrees Celsius whichever variable you have there, plus 273. I'll give you your answer in absolute, Kelvin, absolute temperature of Kelvin, sorry. So, the first practice problem we have here is convert the following temperature reading of 100 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the first thing I always like to do is just write out the equation we're gonna use to solve the question. So that would be degrees Fahrenheit equals nine over five Celsius plus 32. Step number two that I like to do is always just define all the variables. So F is for Fahrenheit. That's our unknown, what we're trying to solve for. C is for Celsius. And they provided that with us in the question. That's 100 degrees. State the assumptions. <clears throat> in this question, I can't really think of many beneficial assumptions. If you do water equivalent heat mixtures, you assume no heat is lost to the surroundings. So usually for this, I'd write something out like there are no assumptions, but I'd put non-applicable. Step number four, solution. Ensure all your steps and check each unit. So formula we're going to use. We wrote above was 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius plus 32. So putting in our variables, it's 100 plus 32. 9 divided by 5 is 1.8 times 100 should be 180 plus 32. So that will give us our Fahrenheit value of 212. And then for step number five, I always like to write out my final answer. So 100 degrees Celsius converted to Fahrenheit equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number two. Convert the following temperature reading of 120 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, write out that equation. That's degrees Celsius equals 5 divided by 9. Your Fahrenheit value minus 32. Variables. So we have Fahrenheit. It's 120, and then we have C, which is Celsius. That's what we're trying to solve for. That's our unknown. Step so number three, I'd write out there are no assumptions. So to save time, I'll just put non-applicable. Step number four is the solution. Show all your steps. So degrees Celsius equals 5 over 9 Fahrenheit value minus 32 so that equals 5 over 9 120 minus 32 
120 minus 32, I believe, gives you 88. And if you times that by 5 over 9, that would give you 48.89 degrees Celsius. Write out our final answer. So 120 degrees Fahrenheit converted to Celsius equals 48.89 degrees Celsius. Next question, convert the following temperature reading of 75 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So this is a two-step question. To find your value in Kelvin, you need your variable in degrees Celsius to add 273 to it. So the first thing we'll have to do is convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'll write out that equation. So it's degrees Celsius equals five over nine, your Fahrenheit value minus 32, and then your Kelvin formula is your degrees Celsius plus 273. Remember that's your absolute temperature formula as well. So our variables, so we have Fahrenheit that's provided to us, that's oops, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. We have Celsius That equals unknown. We have K, which is Kelvin. And it's also an unknown. Save the assumptions. Once again, I'd write out. There are no assumptions, but to save time, we'll show on this. I'll just put non applicable. So the first thing we got to do is we got to figure out what our Celsius value is. So C equals 5 over 9. Fahrenheit value minus 32, which equals 5 over 9. What was our value again? 75. 75 minus 32. That should give us. 43 and then 5. Oops, I guess we'll times 5 divided by 9 by 43. Just put a line through that. Which give us 23.89 degrees Celsius. So now these are Kelvin formula, which is degrees Celsius plus 273. So that equals K. 23.89 plus 273 equals 296.89 Kelvin. Say the final answer. So 75 degrees Fahrenheit converted to Kelvin equals. 296.89 Kelvin. So the last practice question we have here is convert the following temperature reading from 50 degrees Celsius to Rankine. So same thing, to get our Rankine value, it's 460 plus degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll have to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So that's Fahrenheit equals nine over five times our Celsius value plus 32 and find our Rankine value. That's our degrees Fahrenheit plus 460. So our variables, we have F for Fahrenheit. That's one of our unknowns. We have degrees Rankine. Another one of our unknowns. And we have C, which is Celsius, which they provided to us, which is 50 degrees Celsius. For assumptions, not applicable. 
So it's step number four, solution and show all the steps. So first thing we have to do is find our Fahrenheit value. So it's nine over five for Celsius plus 32. So it's nine over five times 50 plus 32. So 1.8 times 50 should give you 90 plus 32 and that will give you 122 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> Find our ranking value, that's our degrees Fahrenheit plus 460. That equals 122 plus 460 which is 582 degrees ranking. So let's state your final answer. So 50 degrees Celsius converted to Rankin equals 582 degrees. So that sums it up for these four practice questions. If you guys want more practice questions, we do have this free PDF you can download. I'll put a link in the description below in the video. So it kind of goes over the same thing we covered here. Temperature scale equations, the variables, the important note, like what absolute temperature is and how to solve for it. And then we have convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We have the same 100 that we did, just typed out nicer. And then we have our another practice question, minus 50. Here's the minus 50, show you how to do it. Same thing now, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Fahrenheit to Kelvin, Celsius to Rankin, and then on the Kelvin scale, what is the standard boiling point of water? So some extra material there for you guys. If you like these type of videos, feel free to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. We try to upload at least one of these videos each week, going over some another topic on 282. So we'll talk to you guys on the next video.